Okay, so let's play with this uh, simulation. This is from FET, and I'll include the link down below. Uh, it's pretty useful, but I, I really want to just give you an idea about how these things work. So here I have a lens, uh, and let's just change this to mini rays. Let's see if that works here. Okay, so here is an object. I'm going to move it kind of far away. And so this object, uh, light hits it, and then light reflects off in all different directions. So here are some of those directions. And some of those light rays will travel through this lens. So let's just let's just turn on um, mini rays module. There, oh, that's good. Okay, now the, what is important about a converging lens, and that's what this is, is that we have these things, these X's right here called uh, focal points. And if I had a, let me put this one right here. So if you have a light ray coming in parallel to the axis of the um, of the lens, then once it passes through, they will have refraction. And based on the curvature of the lens and the index of refraction of the lens, that light will pass through the focal point. Okay. So you see here. Let's see if I can get it. If I move this, it won't move. Okay, there it goes. Um, so this one goes straight through. That one goes straight through too. This one down here comes through and it goes through also. The other important thing is if a light ray comes right through the middle, it will just go passing through and it won't, nothing will happen. And then finally, uh, if a light ray passes through the focal point, it will come out parallel to the axis. So those are your three rules that you can think about for how this thing happens. But what, what we get from that is that if I let the light come off of this pencil tip up here, three different light rays will come and three different paths, but they will all meet right at this point. So if you put your eye over here, it you can't tell the difference between a pencil being right there and an image being right there. So this is what's called a real image. And so let's see, if I put a screen there, no, that doesn't really help, I don't know what that does. Oh, that's just a light source, I don't like that. I like the pencil. Uh, then it, it actually looks like it's really there. Furthermore, you can calculate based on the distance of the focal length, the object distance, which is this distance, you can calculate the image distance. Okay, and I'll go over that in a little bit. What's the second point? Oh, that's another point. So then if, if I move this point to different places on the pencil, every every point on the pencil will make a point over here. And so the object really looks like it's there. And so there's two things that are important. Number one, you would see that. Number two, if you put a screen right there, it would make an image on the screen. And that's kind of cool. I'll show you an actual demo of that. Okay, let's get rid of that second point, and now let me show you a virtual image. If I get this really close, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to move my focal length. I think I can. Focal length, curvature. Let's see if I do it this way. Oh, it's not showing the virtual image, that's why. Okay, there. So if I get it right here, these light rays never cross. It does not make an image. However, if your face is over here and you look back, your eyes trace these back, it looks like they come from over here. So it's not a real image, but it looks like an image. In this case, that image looks even bigger than the pencil. Uh, but that's a virtual image. You can calculate that and it would have a negative distance. Um, okay. I think that's enough for now. Change object. What does that do? A star. Yeah. I know. Okay. So play around with this app. It's pretty cool um, and pretty realistic. And I'll, I'll do some uh, practice problems on this later. But there you go.